Hey everyone, this is a very special edition of Monthly Favorites because today is a very special day. The day this video is going live is Thursday, March 30th, which happens to be my birthday. And it's an extra special birthday because today I'm turning 50 years old. 50 years old. 50, 50. Okay, I'm not doing that. It's been going all over Instagram. I'm not doing that real. Anyway, I'm really excited to be spending my birthday with you virtually here doing one of my favorite kind of videos to make all about favorites. I have some great things to share with you. Do remember, I put everything down in the description box with all the links, all the sizing, all that information. I also include all the makeup, jewelry, anything that you see from here up, it's down in the description box. And I also started pinning it to the first comment, the top of the comments, just to make it easier to find because YouTube likes to make things hard and I'm always trying to find ways to make it easier for you. All right, let's get started with all the favorites and we're gonna start with beauty. First off is this foundation, which I feel like I've recommended before, but I've been wearing it so much, I need to share it again because it's truly a favorite. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin. This is a great everyday foundation. It's a great special occasion foundation. It's just a great foundation because it makes my skin look so much better than it really is. The shade range is huge. Use the shade finder on their website to help you figure it out. That's the best way I can tell you to do it. And I have linked it to retailers that have good return policies in case you guess wrong. Next is the lip combo I've been wearing all throughout March, and these are favorites on their own and even more favorited by me when they are together. So first, this is the Too Faced Cocoa Bold Lipstick. I love the case. I think the case is fun. It has the magnetic closure, but this shade, it's called Chocolate Strawberry, and it is the perfect nude neutral pink shade. Great for year round use, but especially nice into spring and summer when we're wearing all the pastels. I love wearing it on its own. Today, I have it layered under this little guy. This is from Tarte. It has a long name. Here we go. It is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. It's part of their Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm line. These have a little bit of a tingle to them. I guess technically they're plumping. I don't think these are plumped, but the shine it leaves on the lips. Most people rave about the white peach shade. I love that too, but my favorite is Cherry Blossom because it's very similar. It's just a soft, neutral, really wearable pink, great layered over anything, but really pretty and soft on its own as well. The bronzer I have reached for the most this month, probably because we've dealt with a lot of humidity and storms, is this guy. It's an old favorite, but it's a current favorite as well. It's from Tarte. It's their waterproof bronzer in the shade Warm Glow. Now they do make a matte version. That one's okay, but I really think that this Warm Glow version is where it's at. As you can see, it is incredibly well loved. If you live in a humid climate, if you know you're gonna be outside and sweating, if you're worried about being outside in the rain and you want your at least your bronzer to stay put, this is the one for you. Even if you live in a dry climate and there's no chance of humidity, it's a beautiful, soft, realistic looking bronzer. I think it's because it has more of a reddish undertone, so it more accurately mimics what your skin would look like if it was a real suntan, which we want to avoid, so I absolutely love this one. Speaking of fake suntans, I have always lived by the adage, if you cannot tone it, tan it. And I've had some warm weather this month. It looks like we're back into it right now. And I've had some try-ons and I wanted to kind of bronze things up a little bit. So two products are gonna count as one favorite today. So this one I've raved about before. It's from Tan Lux. It's the butter. It's a gradual tanner. You don't need that much lead time. Even one night, one application will get you some color. This is great if you just wanna do a little bit every night or when you hop out of the shower. I do it either time. I don't wanna get into a whole self tanning ritual, but this is basically just a moisturizer with the tanning stuff built into it. So it's beautiful as an everyday moisturizer because it leaves a nice kind of glowy sheen on your skin. There's no color to it that just develops over time. But if you want a real nice deep color and you have a little more time, this is the way to go. Now I say that, but this is the Loving Tan Two Hour Express in the shade Dark. Don't bother with medium, just start with the dark. You can wear this and rinse it off after two hours. That's what this is. This is about mm, almost a week old now. And you'll get some tan if you really want a nice deep, darker shade. Put it on like your regular sunless tanner, sleep in it, rinse it off the next morning. And then for the ultimate, follow up by moisturizing with this guy. But anyway, I've tried a lot of self tanners. I have other favorites, but the top of the list has been Loving Tan, and I think it's gonna stay that way for a long time. 
And then the last beauty favorite is the newest release from Colleen Rothschild Beauty, and this thing is insanely good. It is her Illuminating Tinted Eye Cream. So you know I'm a huge fan of the Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift. It's a salmon-y, peachy shade that you put under your foundation before you start your makeup look and really brightens your under eyes and cancels out the dark circles. Well, <laughs> this might cancel out the need for it. This is amazing. This is a tinted eye cream. So it's super hydrating. It also has caffeine in it, which will kind of lift and depuff. But then it has these tinted fears in here that a little goes a long way, by the way. And it just pat it on. I do it under my eye and even up onto my eyelid if you have any kind of darkness or discoloration in this area. This is a game changer. If you're one of those ladies who does not wanna wear makeup, but you still wanna cancel out the darkness, this is your new best friend. I just can't get over how much of a difference this makes. And I don't even really have dark circles. And I love that it's a plastic, very travel-friendly bottle as well. The key is a little goes a long way, do not overload. I just do one, almost like a quarter of a pump, tap it between my fingers to kind of warm it up and then start tapping and blending. If you try one thing, this is amazing. I do have discount codes for this and a lot of other things. I'll put them on the screen as I'm talking to you, but they'll also always be down in the description box. Now on to the clothing favorites. Again, I have five to share with you. The first of course has to be my birthday dress. I shared this one, I talked about it during my Amazon haul a few days ago. If you missed that, I'll link it in the usual spots. But basically, I had this gorgeous eyelet spring dress picked out to wear for my birthday brunch earlier this month. And the weather decided to switch things around. So instead of 70, 75 degree day, we got more like low 40s. So I did a quick pivot, got on Amazon, because if you need something in a hurry, Amazon is the place. And I found, not only did I find this gorgeous dress, but I found that it was part of the Rent the Runway shop on Amazon, where they take the stuff that they had over on their Rent the Runway website that they rented out to people, they gather it all back, get it cleaned up and repaired, and then sell it pre-owned over on Amazon. The finds are amazing. I have a few things sitting in my cart for some events that I have coming up. I want something a little dressier. I don't feel like spending the original designer price on any of these things. Everything I've seen is under $100. But this knit dress is fully stocked. Again, it looks like the last time I checked on the website and I went with size six and it's just, it reminds me of a Missoni knit dress, obviously for not Missoni prices. And it just fit perfectly and it made me feel really special and feminine. And I am going to keep this in my closet forever. Switching gears, a little more casual. I'm a sucker for a utility jacket and I added a new one to my collection this month. This one is from Maurice's and it does come in two colors, more of a cool toned olive green and then a pink lilac. I'm a neutrals person so I went with the olive green and my closet full of other olive green utility jackets can attest to that. This one is a little bit different and unique and that is how I'm justifying adding another one to my collection. I love the length. I prefer a longer length so it hits below my rear end and it has sort of a quilted diamond pattern on the front. It's flat, it's not puffy or anything but it's a nice texture change. Pockets are deep, sizing is nice. I went with my true size small. And then for number three, it was hard to pick a specific one, but I'm gonna just go with these kind of springtime blouses. There are a few I have from a few different retailers, but they all have some similarities, mostly a bit of a stand-up neckline or some ruffle detail, a V-neck, and a little puff sleeve or something to do with the sleeve. And the two standouts are, first of all, this one. I've worn this a few times in real life this month, so that is why it is a favorite. This one is from Avara. I do have a discount code. And I just love how everything about it. It's a dressier fabric. It has this pleated, smaller, I would say, stand-up collar, so I don't have to worry about it getting up on my neck and mixing in with my bronzer and getting makeup all over it. I love a V neckline. I think it's a really flattering neckline. Real subtle puff sleeves. And I just love the colors. This one, I'd say true to size, so I got it in a small. And then Maurice's, again, had a bunch of gorgeous spring tops. And this one I love so much, I bought it in both of the colors it came in. One is a deeper kind of mauvey, purpley lilac, a little more like a dark romantic floral. And then I got it again in a different print with the white background and more brighter florals all over it. Both gorgeous, all three I should say, beautiful, and will be in heavy rotation throughout the rest of the season. Speaking of Avara, these jeans that I shared with you during the quick little spring boutique try-on, 
of all the jeans I've tried and I'm gonna continue to try more because I'm searching for the perfect white jean and when that happens, I'm gonna share it hopefully in April. But in the meantime, these jeans, these are incredible. I know skinny jeans are not everyone's favorite and straight leg jeans are really hard for me to style. This is the marriage of the both of them together. It's a straight slim cut. It's a little more high-waisted. It's not as stretchy a fabric, but still really soft. So it does suck in the gut a little bit, lift up the butt, but it's not too constricting. It's still super soft. And I love the frayed hem. I went my true size in a 28 waist and I am obsessed with these jeans. I'm wearing them far too much, but I just love how flattering they are. And I think if you've been struggling and to find a great jean and you're built like me, you may absolutely love these. And then lastly, again, I couldn't make up my mind. I'm cheating a little, but it's my birthday. So give me some grace. I have two favorites from the same thing. It's the Spanx Air Essentials line, but specifically two new to me pieces. The first is a jumpsuit that I shared over on Instagram. Now the Air Essentials line is technically part of their loungewear line, but this jumpsuit is so nice. I wore it out to lunch with girlfriends. You could put a blazer over this and wear it to work, but it feels like you're wearing pajamas. It's the most soft, cool to the touch fabric. It's magical fabric. I wanna own everything made out of this fabric if I could. The pockets are really nice and accessible. And the key here, I know a lot of you are gonna say, but what about going to the bathroom? This is so super easy to get into and out of. And here's the key part. How do I explain this without getting into TMI? When you're going to sit down, it's it fits the body enough that it's not going to fall to the floor and land on the bathroom floor as you're going to the bathroom. Like you can keep it up around your upper thighs when you go. Okay? I'm just we have to put it out there. On the other hand, <laughs> if you don't want the jumpsuit, their Air Essentials crew neck is outstanding. Now colors in this one are definitely selling out, but I know they're constantly restocking, so be patient if they don't have the color you want. I have it in the beige and the blush pink. Again, it's technically, I think, a sweatshirt, but it, it doesn't look like one. It has little design details that elevate it a little more. I love the inverted pleat in the back. Even my husband noticed it. He's like, that is so cool. That looks really neat on you on the back. They're beautiful. I even wore it to a night out to go to a concert recently. You will feel like you are wearing either a pajama top or just a basic sweatshirt, but it looks so much nicer, and I would go with your true top size on that. I would have a small in the crew neck and a petite small in the jumpsuit. And I should say that the jumpsuit also runs in regular length and tall too. Moving on to accessories. While I love the mini Ipanemas and I wear these all the time for all sorts of occasions and just every day for my birthday, I got the full size Ipanema earrings from Dean Davidson. And while these are so light that you forget they're there, these, even at a statement size, are still very lightweight and do not pull on my earlobes. And this turquoise color is new for their spring line, but it does also come in their classic, several different stone colors as well. But I love a statement piece, and I think I need to add a few more of the colors to my collection. A little more subtle, but probably my most worn pair of earrings for a while now, but I feel like they need their own special shout out. These are also from Dean Davidson, and these are the mini huggy earrings from their Dune collection, which I think is their most well-known collection. They're just basic, really teeny tiny huggy size hoops, and they just open up on a hinge and go through on a post. These are the kind of earrings you can put in and just leave in and forget about. They are so easy. They go with everything. And this antique warm gold is beautiful. A few pairs of shoes. Well, a couple pairs of shoes that I'd like to share with you. The new ones were part of my Walmart haul this month and I found some good finds. So if you missed that one, I'll link it, but don't worry. I've got another one planned for April. I'm slowly adding as new things get on the website. I just keep buying. I cannot wait to share the new finds there. But this one, these are platform sandals that I have a raffia kind of wrapped all the way around it and across the strap here. And then there's faux suede in the toe and faux suede on the very thin ankle straps. They have memory foam even built up into the insole. So it's got great arch support as well. And they are really easy to wear tiny heel when you figure in the actual platform part and they're lightweight so you don't feel like Frankenstein clumping around in giant platform shoes. Now these are not new but they're new on Amazon. I wore these probably more than any other shoe last spring and summer. These are by Steve Madden and it's a wedge espadrille. Now I know this this height may throw some of you off I understand that but these are really comfortable to walk in 
and I love them because of the clear strap. I am self-conscious about my legs. It is what it is. And if you are as well, or you're worried about an ankle strap kind of cutting you off at the ankle, the clear straps solve that problem, make your legs look a lot longer and leaner. Also nice bonus. And another reason I love them, they go with everything because they are clear. If you'd prefer a leather strap, they have that option as well in a ton of other colors, but so glad to see these on Amazon because it means we can purchase more of them and they are less expensive than when they were originally on the Steve Madden or Nordstrom website. And then lastly for accessories, this bag, again, I talked about recently in my March Amazon haul. This is from The Drop. It's just a boxy crossbody bag that can also be carried top handle. And honestly, you can throw it over your shoulder as well. It has this nice detachable strap. I love the gold chain, but I especially love the detail of having the faux leather here so the chain isn't digging into your shoulder. I love just carrying it by the top handles and letting the chain dangle down. And it does have two pretty roomy pockets, one with a zipper and one also with a slip compartment as well. And I forgot to mention, and this is important to me, it also closes with little magnetic snaps. So your stuff is pretty secure in there, which to me is very important. And then on to lifestyle and home stuff. First of all, March brought a ton of storms and we use this a lot and I get asked about it a lot. So this is the perfect time to tell you about the Trusted Lab CBD dog biscuits. If your dogs are spooked by thunderstorms, fireworks, that sort of thing, these will be the answer to your prayers. These are titrated by weight, so do check the back of the package. It'll tell you how much to give, depending on how much your dog weighs. But these have made all the difference in our house. And now Bosley and Mimi, who used to cower and shake in fear during thunderstorms, are just blissfully chill on the couch. So thank goodness for these. And I have a 10% off coupon code for those. Then I fell down the rabbit hole of wanting a new phone case. I love my loopy cases. I think they're really fun. And I am, you know, I'm an influencer, so I need to do the selfie thing and I need to have the phone ring here to do that. But I also have lots of wireless charging devices and the loopy just doesn't work with that. So I went on a search and I think I found the perfect answer. So first and foremost, I needed a MagSafe case for a lot of reasons. And I just found this basic one. I love the clear back. You can choose what color circle you want here if that's a thing for you. And then I just chose the edge to be this sort of beige neutral color. It blended the best with my gold iPhone. And so this is great because it will fit onto some of the things I'm gonna show you, like any kind of wireless charger basically. And then because it's MagSafe, we can have some fun with accessories. So the other part of this favorite is this magnetic phone ring. It just snaps on, and even though it's a really strong magnet that's going nowhere, so I can still carry my phone with, you know, I usually do this with, when I have my hands full. It can also be used as a kickstand, so you can view videos and whatever on here, But and, and it rotates, it spins around. So of course, I can also do my selfie thing with it. Anyway, I absolutely love this, but what I especially love is then when I want to put it on a magnetic charger, boom, this pops right off. So I decided to upgrade my phone charger that sits on my nightstand and I got this guy. Now this thing has one feature that I'll just have to throw in a photo to show you. There's a little button here and there's a little LED light that runs around the edge. So if it's sitting on your nightstand and you just tap this, you get a really nice little glow. But what I love about this, it's a three in one. So boom, displays it at the perfect angle. Love it, my watch sits here and I charge my headphones there. Cuts down on the cord stuff because there's you know just one power cord that plugs in here. And then I just noticed when I unplugged it to share it with you here, it also has a USB port here. So you can actually add another cord to maybe charge your iPad or something else. I also shared this during my recent Amazon haul, the flameless pillar candle. Couple of things I wanna add that I didn't share there. A reason why it's a favorite and why I chose it is it's taller, longer than any other pillar candle that I found on the internet. I wanted something taller, I have high ceilings and I needed something to fill more of that negative space. I also love that it's white. Most of the pillar candles I found were ivory or had a really yellow, beigey undertone to them and I really wanted white and it ticked all those boxes. They also connect by remote control so even if it's just one or you have 10 of them, one remote will power all of them, so I love that. It does have different settings. You can have a timer setting, an on setting, or you can just flick it off as well. And then the last favorite that I wanna share with you for this special birthday edition of Monthly Favorites 
is this gift bag. So I had, like I've mentioned a few hundred times, I'm sure you're sick of hearing about it. Um, my husband and my best friend got together and threw me a birthday brunch earlier this month. So that was a fun way to celebrate with friends. And I got everybody goodie bags and I found these reusable gift bags on Amazon. Now, most of us, I think, reuse gift bags anyway, the paper ones, but these are literally, in the literal sense, meant to be reused. They're made out of the same material that the reusable shopping bags are made out of, but these are much prettier. So they come in rose gold, they come in silver, and they come in a, almost like a, it's a blue, but it's a bright, bright blue. And they have these really nice handles and they do open up and they come with a cardboard insert so that you can have them stand up flat like so, and you can hand them out as a gift bag, and then the recipient can definitely reuse them for a variety of things, because there's no specific branding or design, so it works for all kinds of holidays and gifts. And that is it for all my favorites for March 2023. Thank you, by the way, for all of you who have already sent me birthday wishes back when I shared about my birthday party. That means a lot to me that you're even giving me a second thought during your day. If you do want to do something extra special for me for my birthday, maybe consider signing up for my free weekly newsletter. It comes out every Friday morning. It is a wrap up of all the things I've talked about here, a few things on Instagram. I share some special sale things, a little personal tidbits, and I always include what I am reading that week. So if you're looking for book recommendations, that's the place to do it. I only send out one newsletter a week on Friday morning, so I will not spam your inbox. Thank you in advance if you decide to do that. Well, that wraps it up. Thank you so much. I hope you had an amazing March and I will see you in April. Bye.